What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this gritty HDR effect in your photos using Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. So the first thing we want to do guys is go ahead and choose a photo and today I'm going to be using this photo which I got off of unsplash.com and all you need to do is just go to the link in the description and you can follow along with this tutorial. So what we want to do first is to remove that matte look that you can find predominantly in the blacks and shadows. And we can easily do this by going over to our curves adjustment layer. So what we can do is go down to the bottom right hand corner, we've got our adjustment layers icon and we're going to go ahead and choose curves in this particular case. Then what we want to do is to remove a lot of the black information. So we're gonna go ahead and pinch that over to the right hand side. So we can just move that, our input of 27 and our output of zero. And then what we can do is slightly brighten the photo by going to our mid-tones and brightening those up slightly. So once we've done that, now we can create the HDR effect. So what we want to do is go to our background layer here and we want to duplicate the background layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead over to Filter. Then we're going to go ahead and drop down to Other. And we're going to go ahead and go to High Pass. Now in the High Pass filter, we want to go ahead and choose a radius of seven pixels. Then we're going to go ahead and click OK. Then after you've done that, all you'll need to do is now is just simply change the blending mode. So we're going to go to our blending mode options here. We're going to go from Normal. And we're going to go ahead and drop down to Overlay. And what I can do is now zoom in. And all I can do is to show you the before and I can show you the after. And as you see, we've added this really nice gritty tone to the photo and I really like this effect. And there we go. There is the before and here is the after. There we go, guys.